you have to have a paleontologist who will be able to recognize fossils when he sees them, or she. You have to have an archaeologist who will be able to recognize stone tools. You have to, absolutely have to have a geologist who will know where to take you, who will know what sediments are likely to have these sites that you're looking for and the time period that you're looking for. When you actually find the site, usually how it's found is either you find some bones eroding out of a cliffside or a little galley or something like that, or some stone tools eroding, or you find surface remains, which is normally stone tools, not bones, because like we said, bones don't actually survive on the surface for very long. So you will not find a bone on the surface unless it's just eroded out from somewhere. But stone tools, they can live forever. They don't go anywhere. You drop them on the surface, they'll be there a million years later, as long as the surface is still there. So hopefully what you find will be something eroding, eroding out. So then you have a site that you can excavate, that you'll be able to find things in place, in situ, as we say. And then what you look for in that site will be, again, stone tools, animal bones that these uh, people might have consumed, and of course human remains. This is what you know I, I look for. And then what you try to find is a way to date the site. This is the most important thing as well.